Hello! Um, playing another series, another another game. So, Sable has recently been released. Um, it's got a really funky art style. It looks pretty fun, very relaxing, so hopefully we can just have a chill time. Um, I'm using controller for this. If it doesn't work out very well, maybe I will switch back to keyboard. But let's jump in. Waz to move. I mean, right off the bat, this game looks great. But, it, it, I mean, it's a very weird art, art style. And it's like weird that the running animation and the whole character animation seems to be missing frames, but I guess it's a stylistic choice. Um, what's this? Anything behind it? No. I guess we hand out here, and I'm guessing A to jump. Nice. A button opens a door. Look at this. I've played these games before. Press A to jump. Yeah. Can I make it on that? <gasps> climbing. Move towards a wall to begin climb. So I'm guessing... Okay, I can just climb over anything. It's got the little Breath of the Wild style. Um, Breath of the Wild style, like, energy meter, I guess? What's up here? Elt Crouch. Cute. What a lovely world. Um, drop down here. Did I miss anything? No, I guess not. Uh, do I take fall damage? Is this what we're finding out? No, I guess I don't. Hold B to sprint while moving around. Yeah. And game design is telling us to go towards the big thing of smoke and the tower. But if we look around, oh, there's something cool over there. Oh, I miss some plants. Maybe there's something back there, but uh, I don't know. I'm sure we'll get to it if it's fun eventually. For this playthrough, I don't think we're going to be trying to 100% complete it. I, I sounds like... I can feel JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. Cute. I'm nervous and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have a very little, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? <laughs> I don't know why they suddenly turn kind of Irish. I probably won't do much voice acting. Uh... And yet... Remember the first time you rode a bike? Yeah, so there's, there is a bike in the game, and that's kind of like one of the main hooks. Um, 
I'm not going to be reading everything. Um, if you do need to read stuff, feel free to pause the video. Um, if I'm going too fast, though, let me know in the comments. Um, and if you really want voice acting, I guess you can request that as well. But up to you. And you can't, Sable. I take a breath. Don't know where to start. I think I'm ready. I changed my mind. I'm staying. I want to jump into it, so I think I'm ready. Um, need to talk to Halal and Hilal, Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Halal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun. Uh, awesome. I go speak with Halal. She'll be in the... It's kind of a house. And Driss is down there. I can see a bike in the corner. Okay, okay. And a compass. How handy. Um, fits naturally there. Perfectly weighted and crafted. Thanks. Ah, oh, that's nice. I like little compass. And um, so we have north, and I'm guessing their quest mark is there as well. All right, let's head down. Well, actually, no. Let's let's go over to this person first. B to sprint. It doesn't feel that much faster, but maybe there's upgrades. As I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. They've got a robotic leg. Sable, take this. A gliding stone. Um. So far, the writing is really nice. Uh, what is this? I didn't bring anything for you. Um, yeah, the, the the writing and the dialogue seems very nice. I guess it makes sense. There's no voice acting because it's it is that kind of feel. Um, I tell Halal that I feel. Uh, so it was a warm stone. So maybe there's electricity. I suspect most of these dialogue options don't change what's really happening. It's just kind of like they all lead to all roads lead to Rome. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. They clap their hands twice and Bob's come back once it's done. You haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you. Nice. Whispering stones. And I guess we look at the quest log. Oh, I love maps. Um, it's not super detailed. I wonder if there's more details or if this is all I need. Cool, I can add custom markers though. How many can I add? I need... Alright, I can add way too many. Um, let's go see Driss. Testing the fall damage. Still no fall damage. Uh, okay. Um, come around here. I can see your bike. No spoil, isn't it? I thought that was something else. Um, let's talk to Driss. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, all I can do is not race up to Driss. You did jump off a cliff. Driss the camp manager. What will its name be, the bike? Uh, how fast will it go? Sable! Uh, hello? <laughs> Hi, how are you? I've told you have something for me. JD sent me to speak with you. Let's, let's go passive. Something special. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of railroading you, right? Yes, of course, right, yes, your bike. That I was meant to, that I prepared for you. Oh dear. Did you forget? What? Well, no, I would never. It's obviously I have your bike. It's in a sort of a tutorial. 
Wow. I mean... Hmm. That's a good way to do game progression. Just forget, quote-unquote. A sand cutter. Uh, what's the bike's name? Okay, is this some kind of cultural thing? And I guess everyone's wearing masks, but maybe that's because of the environment. No one's sand in your face. Now ride the bike through the ring and back. Don't fall off. <laughs> okay. I hope it's not like if you fall off. So accelerate, strafe. Oh, this is janky. So we're accelerating. We are steering. It's not very fast, but I guess it's a tutorial bike. Ooh. Don't want to hit those rocks. I am noticing a few frames dropping. I just checked my recording and I can't see... OBS skipping any frames, so I don't know if the game is struggling. I'm just trying to gently park. Perfect. Basically where it was. And then I can get off the bike. Yo, my guy. I returned to Driss, who somehow managed to seem caught off guard. Sable! Congrats. Um... Small fires. Um, well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Everything sounded normal. Do bikes have personalities? Am I not getting a bike? Mobility! I want mobility! Um, I think Driss very, I thank Driss very much for his help on his bike, and I took it apart. Slicing sands, view quest log. Alright, now I guess, nice, it's showing us, so if I view the quest log, yeah, I still need to complete the tasks, and I need to activate the gliding stone at the altar. So, this is what we can do. And that was this way. Wow, that was a bit janky. Uh, do I need to... Oh, wow. Okay, so I can only have one at a time. That's fine. It makes most sense. Um, it's peaceful. I do appreciate games that remove UI when you don't need them. Kind of helps with that immersion. What happens if I hit a small rock? Oh, okay, yeah. Small rocks aren't great. Yeah, getting rid of UI when you don't need it is beautiful for immersion. Yeah, I don't know, it just makes it more peaceful. I like minimalism, as I'm sure you can tell sometimes. Is this where I'm meant to be going? Or do I need to go around a bit further? I guess it's up there, maybe? So, yeah, let's head around here. It looks like there's a ramp. All right, let's just walk that. And I don't know if it's just me, but it seems to be getting dark as well. Up here we go. Climb, climb. Oh, that energy level just drops. Which I guess is what all this is for. I was hoping. Go up that. Go up that. Sprint, 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 jump! Ah, oh, got me nowhere! Okay, I could have just climbed it the first time. Uh, it feels like that's a sprint, sprint, sprint jump. 
Okay, there's a little slide when you catch on. Yeah, it seems like I want to jump when I go into a wall. Was I here before? No, this is all a little different. But that makes me think it's the gliding thing. Hey. Uh... That's a shame. I guess we're just gonna run along the bottom. And maybe we get to glide on the way out? Yeah, it feels like there's a stutter. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Um, I don't know who I'm answering. Am I conscience? Yes and no. I'm ready for Rahana to know me. Oh, it's moving. updated whispering stone to show hello press a and hold to glide in midair huh? that's not the kind of gliding I was expecting um, interesting can I do that indefinitely also how did I was I meant to get up there no presumably not um, I mean I was able to just Walk in and then walk out, right? So this is a nice test if I can just glide for a long time. Oh no, that's right, because the thing fell. I do need to go up one of these places. Um, I love the colors in this game. Like, it starts off very monotone. I guess it's monotone. Um... And then, you know, as you go through different areas, colors evolve. Right, I'm going to run back and see if I can get back on top. One sec. All right, I ran back to the elevator and it took me all the way back up, but I'm here now. So I guess we're going to be doing the gliding again. Kind of embarrassing I failed the first gliding puzzle, hey. Almost failed again. Um... So I could jump over there. Like that's where I came from. Can I glide then climb? Is that what I'm meant to be doing? Glide, 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 climb, climb, climb. Yeah, right. Seems like you can climb anything, which is nice. But I'm also suspicious of anything falling out from underneath me now. Glide, 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 glide. Run, 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 run. 
nice long light. Kind of reminds me of Avatar Last Airbender. Uh, having like a... Oh, that was interesting. Um, I parked the bike somewhere down here, didn't I? Also, all audio disappeared. Huh? No, it's it's there very faintly. One second. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know what happened to the audio then, but maybe it's just a quiet game. Maybe it's quiet in the mornings. Uh, yeah, the gliding kind of reminds me of Avatar: Last Airbender. You know when Aang goes into kind of the avatar state or when he's just flying around in his air bubbles oh he flies around on air bubbles but he also goes in air bubbles sometimes it's just that pose and maybe the scenery i don't know so far this game it feels nice i can see it's building up some of the mechanics um yeah i don't know whether i'm doing things wrong but I feel like there may be some bugs. Dare I say it, the B word. Um. Uh, I mean, I already left, didn't I? What's what's the quest you have? Yeah, I did this one. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling there's maybe a few bugs. Oh, collisions like this. Um, maybe the game needs optimizing a little bit as well. In terms of performance, but... I don't know. It's not too bad. Postbox. Alright. JD greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. It's strange. That's big glider to you. <laughs> Noted adult and big glider. It's my high school nickname. It was a... Huh? That makes it seem like... I missed something. Oh, show halal. That's right. Not. Uh, they were. This way. On a handy look. I just noticed the thing in the bottom left is the time. So it's currently 5 a.m. Or however they work it out. But it's 5 and it's night time. When I return to halal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. How does it feel? That was strange. Uh, yeah, I wasn't very good at it. You're going to love it. Huh? It fades with age. Can not everyone do it? Focus, okay. Try to have fun. That's always great advice. Yeah. Take a knife and a rope, go into the jungle and try and have fun. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance. Ciso. And yeah, this um does have very Breath of the Wild vibes. I don't know if that's intentional, but I don't think. Yeah. 
Um, how do I get up there? Do I climb or do I walk? Yeah, I was just saying, kind of Breath of the Wild vibes as well, where it's like, go see this person. Um, and like, you're unlocking your little abilities, you're gliding, you're riding, and there's going to be a big world full of adventure. I guess that's most RPGs. I don't know what it is yet. An out clanner. Huh? Did I just see something dash along the, the dune in the background? Yeah, there it is again. I don't know if that's meant to be anything. Maybe it's just wind. Maybe I'm going crazy. <laughs> Sable, how did you do, clan child? No, we determined I'm an adult. Uh, excited for my bike, a bit worried. I'm excited for the bike. <laughs> Wants us to make the bike ourselves. Wow, yeah. I mean, that's... I'm going to make my own... Sounds like an adventure. The navigator. Is that a bike part? You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. Ah, oh, we've already worked out I can do that. Uh, where do I start looking? Bikes are reborn in ruined ships and fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. Also, I'm just seeing on the screen there's like a like a wormy thing on one of the pillars there. I wonder if that's a collectible or a creature. Maybe I'll go investigate it in a moment. Go up to the Great Rock. And another behind the dam on the hill. You'll need it to gather a control panel, power supply, and a calibrator. Let's do it. Alright, I might just be silly. Uh, I couldn't walk because it was asking me to use my navigator. And I am that dumb. Um, so, we are... So they said somewhere over here at this ship. So that's on top of the ship and we're going to place a marker there. And then we look around. They said big rock. I don't know if that's a big rock. I don't know if it's that's a big rock or we're looking even further at the back. I'm assuming it's like back here. So let's Yeah, let's throw it somewhere on there. That looks like machines. And You said something about the dam, right? Somewhere there. Let me just confirm that. The atomic calibrator, atomic power supply, and the control panel. Yeah, 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 awesome. All right, uh, let's go for this one first. One, 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 one. Uh, wait, we should be using the scrapper, hey? We land on the bike. Alright, let's do it. Let's go get the first one. Yeah, there's my custom waypoints. Glad we don't have to keep with this bike for too much. Pretty, uh, pretty jank. Alright, let's see what we got. scan anything. Wow, okay. Some ancient technology. I'm sure this will come in as part of the storyline. Nothing of use to be found, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard cockpit. Push it! Sounds like recording. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Raman. 
When I push this orange thing, pull that lever hard. Oh no. Oh, on Rohana's mask. And this is how they crash and die. Oh no, wait, I'm so confused. Um. So they got it flying. It was going too fast. And they're gonna crash, yeah. And slightly depressing. So what am I meant to be looking for? A control panel, a power supply, or an atomic calibrator. Alright, so we might be looking for a little lever? An orange lever? Lever? I don't know what you want from me. Hmm. Who's this? You're looking for a calibrator, yes. Um I've hidden it, you'll never find it. Never never never. Uh give it back. We'll be kind. I'm glad she's a child. Some of the adults in the camp know I can find beetles. I'm assuming you can't run over children. Nope. Invincible objects. Crazy. Alright, well... Again, uh, the first episodes are always hard to do in terms of getting through some content. But... You know, we've started this story, we've met our protagonist. Um, let's leave it there and we can pick it up off, pick it up in a second episode soon. Thanks for joining me. Um, this has been Sable uh, and I guess I'll see you later. Bye.